I become interested in the Aspen Institute. I've been out to Aspen a couple of times in Colorado, which is still going strong. And we remodeled the Niagara Institute on the Aspen Institute to some extent, doing seminars in the humanities and government relations to businessmen and others. And that ran for 20 years. We didn't close it up, but the Conference Board of Canada, which is this bus the business organization in Canada, um, so it took over the Niagara Institute. It took over our debt, which had accumulated. And they still have it. They still run seminars in the Pillar and Post and different places. But it's an Ottawa-based uh, organization, the Conference Board. But from, excuse me, for 20 years before that, what was the first year of that? 72, 72, 73 was the first year of the Niagara Institute. And I left it in, I was down there running it for 10 years, and then I moved to New York, and different people took it over. And I ran for another 10 years, so it sort of didn't close up, but it um, gave up Niagara Lake and was sort of taken over by the conference board around 1980, 81. So for 20 years it was set, that set there in that house. And a lot of good conferences, a lot of good meetings and so on in there. But we left the house pretty much the way it was, I mean, bigger tables and more comfortable chairs and that sort of thing, to make it look more homey and less like a institute. But it was an institute. <laughs>